What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko here with Chair. So we just finished Locals today and um, he hasn't been on the channel in a while. He messaged me and he was like, man, they need me back. And what did you do today? An XO with a, a deck, certain deck. Well, okay, it's Adventure Kashiro, okay? But there's some spice. Kashiro with the spice, the with, usual spice. With the Chair spice. Yes. So, Chair, let's get right into it, but congratulations on your first place. Thank you, thank you. Um, yep, yeah, let's get right into it. All right, subscribe. Yes, sir. All right, let's all do right. it. First of all, there it's you not go. a chair deck without shifter. I mean, shifter. No, no explanation needed. Yeah. Uh, uh, just one game against my, my buddy Apolyclear, so I break down most of my uh, Avenger stuff. Yep. I just drop this. He had to pass a turn. Uh, I was able to win because of that. Shifter is just an shifter, insane shifter, time. Right? Yeah. Shifter, shifter. And then we have the Enchantress. You know, when the main gen is the game, of course, you gotta see her because she's a good discard. So I play three of her and two right because uh, she's a free advantage. You can just discard for cost. Okay. Sometimes I, you know, it's free advantage. So you gotta play three of that. And then the uh, one Griffin's Omni the game. Okay, yeah, of course. The reason I mean, I mean, you're playing the whole engine. Right? Yeah. That's the uh, so yeah, staple. Uh, yeah, of course. You got uh, against like lap in my last round against a lap. Like putting work. I topped. So I so like game two, I think. I thought I had that game, but he still beat me. The crazy player, but game two. So he tried to uh, use a big welcome on his turn. I asked him right on my turn. He was gonna activate another big welcome instead with the one he searched. Second Ash. I top deck another Ash. So and if Ash. you guys actually want to see the full feature match, the finals, uh, it's on the yeah. dual channel. It was I'll, on the channel. I'll link it in the description below. That was crazy. It was like, oh my god, that was so clutch. Yeah. I still lost that game. That was crazy. Uh, and then now the main engine, sweeping her. That's deck. Of course. That's current deck. You know, putting the work for grind. I don't know why I said three, but I think Konami made a good decision. They should keep, you know, this card is pretty balanced, so uh, three is fine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, sure. And then the card is about to come back to three, so... Yeah. So for anyone's information, this is pre ban list. pre ban list. And this deck gets better post ban list. Exactly, you get one more unicorn. Basically. Okay. And then the one a right card, the one a scarecrow cash. So this one is basically, uh, I use it for tribute fodder for something, uh, and later you'll see it, but mostly this, and sometimes you go into combo like Shangri-La, stuff like that. It's like a free or level seven. Uh, this guy is just like good to have. Uh, yeah, like you can also like tower muscle like your Perlili. So if you attack them, because it's a it's a continuous effect, it doesn't activate. Yep. So if you attack their Perli uh, the big uh, black cat, it can negate the effect and again get two something. So yep. they have to spin this back if they want to keep their big cat. So okay. it's really good for like tall muscle, good for dragoon, psychic and stuff like that. It's good to have. Okay, and that's all the La Kachira monster. And then the best card in your deck. There it is. There, there, there's no chair deck without Vanity Fiend and Shifter. This is the reason I won against our Pearly matchup. Uh, against Monodium matchup. So I guess the, this Monodium dude. Uh, so he bri I break, right? I drew basically four adventure cards. Draco back, Griffin, and uh, Rhino Meteor, Shifter. And then I was like, I'm a, I'm a, I lost, right? So the guy also went Dice Over, right? So I shifted him. Luckily he passed. I uh, top deck one card. Benefit. Benefit. You're putting out a hero so scoop. How do you summon this? I, I know how to do it, but for, for yeah. people who don't know. So basically, so basically you do your full combo and then you just tribute one of the cash hero monster. So usually this guy, because he doesn't do anything by himself, yep. you summon him, banish the top three of their deck, make sure to get rid of their owls, like infirm stuff like that, and you just tribute something like that. So you can do it that way. Do it you that can way. Do it with you the can, griffin too. You can also do a griffin. So sometimes if I brick, I just summon the griffin by itself and then tribute summon. That's it. That's yep. what you do. And if you can end on this plus like protection, which exactly. So this is the full comp basically. This and then some uh, thinner, and that's usually the line. Uh, this is the board right there. So so two, this is what you want to end on. Yeah, this one, this two doesn't even matter. It's usually this two guys. Okay. As long as you see this two, it usually it's game over for them. Okay. Yeah, the cashier is just there, you know. Like bonus. Yeah, bonus. If you, you don't see it, it's the main engine, right? You still playing cashier because cashier can play shifter. Yeah. But these guys are like the killer of the deck. Right? Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he plain worked there. Every time I see him, again, uh, like uh, the second last game uh, against the Perdidi guy, I, I summon.
even two of them, he couldn't help both. He had a way to get rid of one. But he couldn't get both. I set an Ash, so on the phone turn, I trivial Ash for another one, so it guaranteed the kill. Right? Nice. Yeah, so I can't get rid of that. And I took his uh, Zeus, and then uh, Trivial T took his Zeus. Zeus is born and trivial for this. Yeah, that's, no, so, yeah. that's so yeah. crazy. That's How funny. do you take his uh, Triple T? Take the Zeus? Triple T, so yeah, so I baited the pack, he had a Blue Cat, I used that. And then I uh, Triple T take his, he had a uh, three mat Zeus. Yep. I Zeus once, he negated it with the blue cat. Yep. And I made my own Zeus, I Zeus him again. And then I drew it That's crazy. So it's like a terrible one. Okay, that's all for the, all the monsters right there. I think we talked about that. And then now the spells. Yep. Triple T. This card put in work today. Oh, yo, yeah. in the finals? This yeah. was crazy. In the finals, I have two of these. Every time, like the Lavin player did something during my main phase, I just took his monster and then beat him with it. Yeah. And then I, he couldn't play around it. Like, like this card literally been winning the game, basically. And also, it's just like a draw two if you get, get drawn. You can look at their hand and stuff. You need this because, like, there's a lot of choke points in there. just too good right yeah. now. Yeah, also, you can take their stuff and trade for the advantage. That's all. Yeah, that's all the reason. Play. That's a good card. You need to yeah. play this. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, the one called by just in case, you know. Of you, course. I, I lost to Joel. I, I got hurt by Joel already badly by this deck. And then, so if I don't see Shifter, I want to see Call by, right? Yeah. Call by. It's really good. One off, whatever. Uh, Duster, just because uh, it's a good going second card. So if I see it, it's okay. And I also play Thrust, so I can Thrust into it. Yeah. So it's a really good uh, card going first or second. And uh, the one tier for me. Uh, I might have decided I'll go in like uh, game two and three because I did get Joel one time when I went for this play and then it kind of clipped me. So, yeah, and, uh, it's something to be careful of. You know, if you're trying to play around Joel, side this out. You don't want to get Joel. That's it hurts That's a lot, yeah. And then the main engine, the three planet, really broken card. For the caution. Yeah, you have to be careful. You, you Sometimes I forget, even I forget about the damage boost ability it has. There might be a time that I could have had game, but I forgot to get like give the, all my monster damage boost. So that needs something to really be careful. Yeah. But otherwise, it's an engine style. Broken card, like one card combo. Right of there. course. And then the best card, another balanced card, Konami. Another card that this, everyone thought was going to get hit. This card is balanced. I don't see anything wrong with it. They just keep playing it. And yeah, it's a good card. It just says dig six card and look for Vanifin, look for Judgment, whatever you want to do. All right. A uh, good card. Good card. Uh, German, German. So let, me, let me zoom in on these. Get on a German OG. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, right on me, Jer. So, uh, so basic standard. So you don't want to play three of these because it's not like a this card like uh, Enchantress could be. So this one is just like you want to see it. So Enchantress, you can also special summon as like a fodder. Exactly, for right? Enchantress, you can special and make low uh, SP low knight or something, right? Yeah. So this is just like you know you're searching for this, but you don't you, you don't need to maximize it. You could, but you could just like I like to play two just so I see the like, hand traps and stuff. So okay. You don't want to see too much. Yeah. Also, you can thrust into this. Yep. Yeah. Uh, one is fatal. You got player and triple back. Triple back also putting work today. It's like a free discard cost when you search Griffin and then you equip to it and bounce something and then yeah. And also there's a combo in my side deck. I play lava golem, so I lava golem them sometimes. Bounce it back, lava golem. That's crazy. It's pretty dirty. Yeah. That's, That's dirty. a play you could do. Uh, then the triple imper, well, one of the bad side trap plays around all the thrust or you know talent stuff like that. So yep. it's good to have. Yeah. Uh, Seal says I only play one, uh, and the Seal and Burp, so it's not actually like a pure pure cashier deck. So I just want to see one of them. So I just use this to search for the combo. So usually every time I make my board, I don't need the cashier engine anymore. It's, I rely on adventure and abandon So yeah, yeah. This one is just for the follow up because I'm playing because uh, it's good for grinding. Game sometimes, so sometimes you don't open Vandy, so you can use this uh, with the unicorn search. If you open uh, another Finrar too, use this to summon Finrar to get a bunch of uh, uh, Ring Sevens plays as well. So yeah. this is good to have. Yeah. Okay. okay. So 40 cards in the main deck? 40, 40 sharp, yeah. Okay. Okay, and then the side deck. Okay, so side deck. Thrust. You know, no explain is thrust, is thrust, like a lot of targets. Yeah. Uh, play like uh, evenly match, yeah, duster, uh, right of meter, engine. Prosperity, I can basically look for anything. It's just broken in Cash Terra, right? Yeah. And sometimes you don't even want to go first or second. This is good to have. So, this is trust as well. I don't play three because I don't want to like, kind of break on it sometimes. So, two is like the perfect number for me for now. Okay. That's right. Other German, too. German. 
play. Shout out the Germans. Germans. Uh, just because I'm kind of scared of Manadim nowadays. Yeah. So if I get lucky and they do negate the thrust, I thrust into this and then kind of catch them off guard sometimes. Yep. Yeah. Testing it out. I'm not sure. A lot of lightning storms because all of like you know like lab now nowadays. So something else to clear the back row besides Duster, I guess, is good to have. Yep. And also good against monsters. I think good generator. Uh, the triple lava balloon. Just you know. It's, I, I don't need my normal summon to care. So when I'm going second or third, I usually side on my Vanity Fiend anyway. So this just sub in for the Vanity Fiend basically. Yeah. yeah, just tag each other out. Yep. Uh, and then the combo with the Draco Bags for the 30. Uh, two Evenly is like. This is just break doors broken. Evenly is Evenly. Yep. Search of Thrust, everything standard. Uh, triple Macro. I'm testing this today just because I was on some Elena usual time, but this deck I don't care about my banishing, so I'm testing this out. But I think this might be better for next format because all the Fire King and Snake Eyes, they all need their graveyard, yeah. so this can hurt them a lot. So, so yeah. how do you feel about Fissure over Macrocosmo? Uh, Fisher is good, you can mean like that, but I feel like this is just a stronger Fisher. Okay. And I'm only playing this in the side, uh, only going games, uh, no, only when I know I'm going first anyway. So yeah. I felt like Fisher, this is the same as Fisher anyway, so right? It doesn't matter if I draw Fisher or this, they both want to, you know, go banish. Go, yeah, yeah, banish. So this banish everything, Fisher just says monsters. Yeah. But monster you can play it going second, but I'm never gonna play that card going second, so macro is like, no, no better. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. And then the best guy in the game. So I'm judging. You gotta got have protection, you always have protection for Vanity Fiend. Yeah. Best card. I won the game three. There's a lap player. He had he almost had f four thousand. I think. No, I have like uh, something I think he had four thousand. So he had a lethal, right? So yeah. he had a lady, the areas, and he had a welcome set, right? So if he welcome first, I would have died. But he chose to attack first. And then he used Walker. And then he used Walker. I'm like, judgment. judgment. And then he choked him. I survived at 300 and beat him up. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That was clutch. Uh, extra deck. We got uh, standard Baron and Chen Ying. Uh, Baron is just sometimes you kind of break, you have like open double ash, you can make uh, and then Finrar, so you normal ash and you can make your own. Yeah. This one is just like, I have too many spots in my extra deck, I don't really know what to pick, just put it in there just in case. Yep. I heard this is good against Fire King because they can't destroy it, yep. so they have protection, so it's, you know, it's a spicy, nothing serious. And then you gotta play the, you gotta go snipe all night, yeah. How much did you actually go into these? Uh, actually not a lot, I never went into any of these, no, actually. You no. didn't make it? I don't know. So, this is just self explanatory little knife package. Uh, I never been in this guy. This guy is good because you can clear your own body, so yep. I can make my time <laughs> plays. But I never go in like, there's usually prosperity plotters. Uh, this one is good in theory against Lab and Fire King because I never go into me either. Uh, this guy put in work. Game two, if you look at the vi uh, video later, yeah. uh, Spangle can post. This guy put in work, but the guy was like, it was really good. He calculated how many exactly. moves he needed to do before he died, so he was able to out it. But like, I think it was at like 51, I burned him down for 35. Yeah. So if like this card is really dangerous, like if you're not careful, a lab has so many chains. Yeah. So you can like really like burn them a lot. At first, I was iffy about making it, but then I thought about it, and like there's no other good option, so I just made it. But it turned out to be very dangerous for him yeah. to get rid of. I don't know so this is an uh, MAP today. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. Uh, and then this card, uh, Dark Time. This card put in work too against him uh, game three. I was able to pop his board and then make sure he doesn't have any follow up. Yeah. So this card is good. Yeah. This is generic level 7 texture. So of course. Uh, Shangri La. I didn't get to make it today because I usually yin down the Manatee combo. Yeah. Uh, you only make this when you don't open Manatee. So you just want to go to your card line so you can get like a special fin rare and a unicorn. And you have this too. So yeah, like more stuff. Uh, this guy never make it. Uh, so in theory, it's like a format Zeus. So you make two levels. 7 attack and then you absorb something and it makes juice. Yeah. I never go into it. Never go into it. Never go into it. Never go into it. Yeah, they were all pretty bad. Uh, Typhoon, I went into it, but it didn't beat me anything. It didn't, it's okay. Like, mostly I played a lot of like, like, they didn't even go into actual like lab, right? I, yeah. I couldn't even summon them. Like, it's not that. It's all just prosperity fodder. Yeah, it's just not prosperity, but usually. And yeah. then the Zeus. Zeus didn't work today, actually. Yeah. yeah. Today, uh, against a per Purdy player, right? So, uh, uh, he had like a, a birdie, uh, no, he had a, his own Zeus and then the blue cat, right? So I was able to uh, bait a fact, use triple T to take his Zeus, and then on my after take, I use a fact, he chained to use blue cat in the gate, I'm like, okay. 
So he was a, he has three mad zoos, right? Yeah. So attacking to him, stack my own zoos, do it again. Do it board again, board And then after board wipe, trade for Vandy Bean. That's so crazy. And then that's it. All right, Sherry, congratulations, Thank man. You. I love seeing these kind of decks from you. It's very creative because it's not just typical adventure Kashtara. It's like adventure yeah. Kashtara with the specific Vanity Fiend and all these tags. Mm. But yo, congratulations again today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put your name up here on the screen. Should be up there somewhere. Oh, there's, there you go. First place, first place, right, right there. Right there. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, happy to have you back on the channel. Thank you. So what do right. for the 2024? There yeah, 2024 is gonna be a, a good year, go. good year. All right, thank you guys all, all right, for watching. You. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.